Mount Etna, one of the world's most active and studied volcanoes, looms over the eastern coast of Sicily. It has been erupting for hundreds of thousands of years, frequently spewing lava and ash. While its eruptions are a well-documented phenomenon, recent scientific research has uncovered a more insidious danger. Mount Etna is collapsing into the sea. Scientists discovered that the entire southeastern flank of the volcano is slowly sliding toward the Ionian Sea, creeping forward at a few centimeters per year. What if one day, this creeping motion turns into a sudden, violent landslide? If that happens, the consequences could be devastating. A massive chunk of Etna crashing into the sea could displace enough water to trigger a tsunami capable of devastating the Mediterranean. This is not just speculation. Evidence suggests that Etna has collapsed before, sending towering waves racing across the region. Could history be preparing to repeat itself? Scientists are racing to understand when and how this might happen. But will they be able to predict the next disaster before it's too late? Let's find out. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. Mount Etna is a stratovolcano located on the east coast of Sicily. It is the tallest and most active volcano in Europe, standing at approximately 3,357 meters, though its height changes due to frequent eruptions. The volcano is situated at the convergence of the African and Eurasian tectonic plates, a highly active geological zone where the African plate is slowly subducting beneath the Eurasian plate. This subduction generates magma, which fuels Etna's eruptions. Unlike many volcanoes that form directly above subduction zones, Mount Etna's formation is also influenced by a complex network of fault lines and mantle plumes, allowing magma to rise through the Earth's crust. The volcano has a composition of basaltic lava, which is relatively low in viscosity, allowing frequent but less explosive eruptions compared to stratovolcanoes with thicker lava. Etna has multiple craters and an extensive lava fields, with both summit and flank eruptions occurring, and this increases the instability of the flanks, raising concerns about potential landslides. For decades, geologists have closely observed Mount Etna's activity, focusing not just on its frequent eruptions, but also on the structure of the volcano itself. They have identified a consistent movement of the southeastern flank, which appears to be inching its way toward the sea at a rate of approximately 3 centimeters per year. While slow, this movement is not insignificant. The exact cause of Etna's slow sliding has never been fully understood. Scientists previously thought the shift might be due to a buildup of magma inside the volcano. But that's not what the new research suggests. To investigate, in April 2016, the researchers set up a network of underwater transponders to continuously monitor seafloor displacement along the submerged southern boundary of Mount Etna. For a year, nothing happened. Then, in 2017, Etna's shifting underwater flank moved by 4 centimeters between May 12th and May 20th, a movement that corresponded to an eight-day-long slow-slip event, where a shift occurred along a fault without an earthquake happening. This event, occurring underwater and so far from Etna's fiery heart, means the volcano's slow slide into the Mediterranean is episodic and is primarily driven by instability due to gravitational forces rather than seismic rupturing spurred by magma dynamics hidden within the volcano. The cause of the movement is partly due to the way Mount Etna has grown over time. Unlike many other volcanoes, which form on stable continental crust, Etna is situated on a mix of oceanic and continental lithosphere. The weight of the accumulating volcanic material, combined with tectonic forces in the region, has contributed to its structural instability. One of the greatest fears surrounding Etna's slow collapse is the possibility of a sudden landslide. The danger lies in the vast amount of material that would be displaced if a large section of Mount Etna suddenly gave way. If such a collapse were to occur, the consequences could be devastating. As millions of tons of rock plunge into the sea, they would displace an enormous volume of water, generating powerful tsunami waves. Unlike oceanic tsunamis caused by earthquakes, which typically originate from deep-sea fault movements, 
a landslide-induced tsunami in the Mediterranean would likely be localized but extremely destructive. Given the confined geography of the Mediterranean basin, such a wave could reach coastal areas within minutes. The proximity of densely populated cities such as Catania, Messina, and even regions of southern Italy, Greece, and North Africa means that a tsunami could cause widespread devastation before many people have time to react. The Mediterranean is particularly vulnerable to a tsunami generated by Mount Etna. Unlike the vast Pacific or Atlantic oceans, where tsunamis have room to disperse their energy, the Mediterranean is a confined body of water. This means that any large displacement of water would result in intense, high-energy waves that would strike the surrounding coasts rapidly. The height of these waves would depend on the volume of rock that enters the sea and the speed of the collapse. Computer simulations of potential landslide scenarios suggest that a major event could produce waves tens of meters high. These waves would travel at high speeds, leaving little time for people in coastal cities to evacuate. Unlike earthquake-generated tsunamis, which often come with precursory tremors that can serve as a warning, a landslide-induced tsunami could strike with almost no advance notice. This makes early detection and preparedness critical for mitigating the potential disaster. History offers chilling precedents for the kind of disaster scientists fear could result from Mount Etna's collapse. One of the most significant past collapses of Mount Etna occurred around 8,000 years ago. Geological studies indicate that a massive portion of the volcano's eastern flank gave way, sending enormous amounts of material crashing into the Mediterranean Sea. This ancient event likely resulted in a tsunami that spread across the surrounding coastlines. The remnants of this collapse can still be seen today. Large deposits of volcanic material are scattered along the seabed off the coast of Sicily, suggesting that a massive landslide occurred. A more recent event occurred in 2002, when a small-scale submarine landslide was detected off Mount Etna's eastern flank. During this time, the volcano was erupting, and parts of the flank became increasingly unstable. As the eruption progressed, movements of the southeastern flank accelerated, and eventually, a section of the volcano collapsed. This landslide was relatively small compared to the massive ancient collapses, but it still generated a localized tsunami. The waves were recorded along parts of the Sicilian coast, but they were not large enough to cause any damage. But this event reinforced the scientific understanding that Mount Etna's flank is actively moving and capable of triggering tsunamis under the right conditions. Other volcanoes have shown just how catastrophic sudden collapses can be. On May 18, 1980, the northern flank of Mount St. Helens a volcano in Washington state collapsed after a 5.1 magnitude earthquake struck the area. The resulting eruption and landslide caused what the U.S. Geological Survey called the largest debris avalanche on Earth in recorded history. It killed 57 people and caused $1.1 billion in damage. The ongoing movement of Mount Etna's flank is a stark reminder that our planet is constantly changing. Etna's slow but persistent shift toward the sea is an example of how seemingly minor movements can build up to catastrophic events over time. If a collapse on the scale of the one that occurred 8,000 years ago were to happen today, it could have devastating consequences due to the dense population along the Mediterranean coasts. For now, scientists cannot predict exactly when or how a collapse might occur. It could be decades or even centuries before the southeastern flank gives way entirely. However, the fact that it is moving at all suggests that at some point in the future, Mount Etna could generate a tsunami unlike anything seen in modern Mediterranean history. In the meantime, continued scientific research, monitoring, and disaster preparedness will be essential to minimizing the potential loss of life and infrastructure damage. While nature cannot be controlled, Understanding its processes allows humanity to prepare for and mitigate the impacts of even the most powerful natural disasters.